believe one day this will all be ours. Hey, she may not look like much, but wait till you see what I have in mind. Come on, come on, come on. We're gonna tear all this down and replace it with your game room. Ping pong, pool, foosball. Trampoline? Oh yeah, trampoline goes right over there. And then uh, all these walls are gone, replaced with three inch glass, 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 glass. This can stay. Doesn't that look lovely? Yellow stands for happiness and creativity. This place doesn't have any running water or electricity. Ignore her. She was born without vision. Well, that wow. was a clip from the riveting memoir written by noted journalist Jeanette Walls. Incredible. That's right now. It's about her dysfunctional yet uniquely close-knit family uh, growing up in Virginia. Jeanette Walls, welcome to Great Day Washington. Thank you so much. Thank now, you. Now, this movie is just, there's a lot of buzz, Montel. You've been hearing about well, it. Let me tell you something. I was really excited this morning because I didn't recognize the title of your book. Uh -huh. And then this morning, I got up and looked at it. Wait a minute. This is the movie that Woody Harrelson is in. Yeah. And I have <laughs> been wanting to, I'm literally, this is on my list to go see. Yeah. yeah. Excited. And I, I think we should tell people why. You ought to tell people a little bit about your story. Story yes. So they well, understand. I used to be a celebrity columnist in New York City, and one day I'm going to a fabulous party, and I see a homeless woman rooting through my, the garbage. I get a good look at it and realize it's my mother. I get together with her a couple of days later. I said, Ma, what the heck am I supposed to tell people about you? And she said, tell the truth. And so I wrote this book about my poverty childhood. I mean, I, I we slept in cars. We slept in cardboard boxes. Sometimes we had a house for a while, would run off from it. When you said you had a house uh -huh, for a while, uh -huh, uh -huh. you squatted with, in houses. You You're, know, but right? through all of, yes, but through all of that, my father was a dreamer and a planner, and it, he was going to one day build us a fabulous mansion, um, called it the Glass Castle. But through all of that, there was also great love and, and intimacy. And one of the reasons that I wrote this story is I wanted people to, to look behind the stereotypes that we sometimes put on people, the crazy homeless people, the, cra the shallow gossip columnists even, that there's often more to the story. What fascinates me about your story is that it spent something like six years mm -hmm. on the New York Times bestsellers list, <laughs> that people can relate yes. to the dysfunction. That's exactly it, yeah. The number of people who've come up to me and said, the details of our lives are different, but you and I have a lot in common. I say, girlfriend, you and I could be sisters. <laughs> and they'll tell me about their stories. And it's made me realize how many people carry around stories might be a little bit different, but very similar to mine. And when people look back and they think, when they think about poverty, they mm -hmm. think about people who can make it out of poverty there you go. the way you have, mm -hmm. you're not that picture. When what? I say poverty, and uh -huh. I'm telling you, people at home are probably looking right now, poverty, what? What are you talking about? Not that woman. <laughs> but, but the face of real poverty. Well, you know, like I said, there's a lot of us out there, and I believe that you need, that you can make it out. But one of the things that I was very fortunate about is that my father was a dreamer. He believed in us. And I believe if there's one person in your life who thinks that you're great and gives you that vision, that you can make so it out. So he gave you hope. Yes. Uh, we hope. have a clip from the mm -hmm. movie uh, with a character who plays you uh -huh. and uh, Brie Larson Brie and Larson. Naomi Watts plays your mother. Take a look. We'll talk about it on the other side. Mom. So, your dad said he saw you pass by in a cab the other night. Acted like we weren't even there. You shouldn't be ashamed of us, just because we choose a different lifestyle than you. Being homeless in New York City does not count as a lifestyle choice. Well, if we heard from you more, you'd know that we found a lovely place on the Lower East Side. Lori says you're squatting in an abandoned building. That does not sound safe, Mom. When did you lose your sense of adventure? I have a little bit of money now. I can help you if you want. Mm -mm. We're fine. You're the one who needs help. Look at you. Your values are all confused. Hmm. Powerful Ooh. scene. <laughs> Especially the mother who is dysfunctional telling you that your values are out of skew because you have now become a part of society. But in a way, they were out of skew because I... I was refusing to connect to my past. I wanted to be the woman without a past, the woman from nowhere. And I've come to believe that you've got to reconnect with it. You're not necessarily going to be controlled by your past, but you're influenced by it. And if you pretend that these things didn't happen, then you don't get the blessings that are wrapped inside some of the worst experiences, you know? What's that old saying? If you don't know where you're from, 
you never know where you're going. There you go. Wow. And this is actually <laughs> that in a nutshell. My goodness. Yeah. Thank you. I'm going to see this movie. You <laughs> yes. know, right? Okay. Well, I just want to say I saw it. It's amazing. Anybody, if you think you have a dysfunctional family, <laughs> go and connect with Jeanette in this movie because um, you're so strong and so put together mm. knowing that at 10 years old, in the movie at least, you say, I'm going to come up with a plan to get out yeah. of this. Yeah. Her and story's not over. There's yeah. another book coming. I know it. <laughs> I'm a challenge you. You need to write that other book. All right. Well, it's going to be a bestseller, too. So, so we'll be right back after the break. Jeanette Walls, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Coming up on